charge. Yo, 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 what's up, Clutch 21? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, I wanted to cover everything you need to know before you update your Cronus Zen to Zen Studio version 1.2 beta and also the firmware on your Cronus Zen. Of course, this knowledge has been out for a little over a week now, but there are a few things that need to be covered before you do this. So I wanted to go ahead and cover that today so you don't have all the issues that I had. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, guys, two things real quick before we jump into the video. As you all know, we have a Patreon. With, if you want access to any of the scripts that we've came out with, personally, I am overwhelmed with all the love and support. Version 1.2 has really taken off. Version 1.1 is even in the Discord if you want to try it out for yourself. I've had people come to me in the past few days even using this on Apex and say it's absolutely slamming on Apex, guys. So I can't thank you all for the love and support that you have shown with everything that's going on with not just the scripts, but the values and stuff like that that we've been doing and uh, just helping you guys out has been awesome. If you want access, if you want help, make sure you guys join up on the Patreon. And of course, if you want to bypass some of that skill-based matchmaking, as you can see, I can connect to Mexico with my VPN and I could play in Mexico servers or wherever I want to play. Of course, my ping is going to be a little bit higher, but I can still bypass some of that skill-based matchmaking and I'm still protecting myself. So definitely check out NordVPN, guys, if you are interested. Best VPN on the market with a 30-day money-back guarantee. It cannot be beat. Both of the links to these will be in the description below. So check it out if you are interested. All right, guys, so whenever I updated to the latest Zen Studio version 1.2 beta, sometimes when I was ADSing, I couldn't turn left or right. I was reloading mid-fight. And I know a lot of you have had the same issues. You've come to me on Patreon and the discord my dms have been flooded as of late but you really want to pay attention to this especially if you're on ps5 that's the biggest benefit of this new beta and the new zen studio and the firmware that comes on the cronus now is it's definitely going to benefit those who are on ps5 having controller issues and stuff like that now the first thing i'm going to tell you you really need to do before you do anything else is open up zen studio go into device Make sure you guys do a factory reset before you do anything else. This was my biggest problem at first. I didn't do a factory reset. So whenever I updated Zen Studio and then I would do a factory reset or do a firmware update, the Cronus would still have a blank GPC slot on my Cronus. So I couldn't actually go into the new beta version it would not respond in Zen Studio. So guys, make sure you go ahead and do a factory reset before you update Zen Studio or you update the firmware on your Cronus, which I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Now, for those that are on PS5, make sure you enable PS4 speciality, especially even if you're on PS4, you can go ahead and enable this. This is the biggest thing that's gonna help you guys out on PS5. Go ahead and check this box right here. Now, if you're on PC, you don't need to check it, uh, so you don't have to worry about that any longer. But if you're on PS5, make sure you guys check this right here. And of course, if you're using any of the older scripts like Pro AMV4, V5, if you try to put it into the compiler tab and it gives you an error message, you're gonna have to make sure you check this right here. And even with some of my scripts, you'll have to actually check the 16-bit compiler because we haven't written it for 32-bit yet. So you're gonna have to check this right here whenever you're trying to add some of these other scripts that have been out for a little longer. Also, guys, the best thing about this, I just can't say it enough, we're going to start getting 32-bit scripts and game packs. That's going to be able to allow us to do a lot more when it comes to the Cronus. Super excited for that. There's not a whole lot out yet. You have like an Apex pack, and then of course you have the Warzone 32-bit pack. Now that we have a option to do 32-bit scripts, so this is going to be super exciting. I can't wait to see what this will allow us to continue to improve upon and change as we move forward. Um, so definitely try out the 32-bit if you want to. It's right down here, guys, 32-bit Warzone Pacific Season 1. And then they also have one for mouse and keyboard. If you are on mouse and keyboard and play on PC, or even if you use the mouse and keyboard on console, also notice the new mouse and keyboard tab in Zen Studio. And I'm going to drop a link to the new Zen Studio in the description below. If you want to download it, you could go ahead and do that and check this out. So this is very, very important for those who are mouse and keyboard. You have your own tab now. You don't have to go into uh, tools and plugins and all that mess. You have your own tab. You can adjust the smoothness, sensitivity, everything right here. Now, before you update Zen Studio, like I said, before you update the firmware, I'm gonna show you how to do that next. Just make sure you guys do that factory reset. I don't want you to have the problems I had. 
All right, so once you've done the factory reset, guys, you can go ahead and update your firmware. Open up that CM update tool. You know, when you first got your Cronus, you're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, have to have your Zen unplugged, guys. So all you gotta do whenever you plug it in, before you plug it in, make sure you hold down that blue button on the bottom right here, guys. Make sure you hold down the blue button. I don't know why it's red in their picture on the website. Hold down that blue button as you plug it into the back of your Cronus. You're not using the side of your Cronus unless you're adding scripts and stuff. So you're gonna hold down the blue button on the bottom plug it in and it'll go into bootloader mode and you'll be able to see your Cronus right here. So hold that down before you plug it into the back of your Cronus and then you're gonna uncheck this right here and you'll be able to go up and see the latest beta version. Now I'm on beta.6 right now and you'll be able to check that and then go ahead and hit continue if you wanna update your firmware. Mine's already updated so I'm not gonna go through the whole process but it's pretty much straightforward after this. This is all you need to do and then you can update Zen Studio obviously if you want to. Like I said, make sure you do that factory reset first before you do this so that way you're not stuck with any old scripts or anything like that. And then once that's done guys, you're pretty much ready to go. You'll plug it into the side of your Cronus to program and add whatever scripts you want to add through Zen Studio. But like I said, if you're trying to add any of the other scripts that you're familiar with, and the pass and for some reason it's not allowing you to save it it's probably because you don't have this checked right here the legacy 16-bit compiler all right so make sure you guys check that that's pretty much it guys there's not much more than that i hope this helped you out i know like i said this information has been out for a little while but not all the details and specifics of you know all the bugs that were going on people didn't really know how they were getting those so i wanted to kind of explain what you need to know and what you need to do first to get this working like you want it to anyway guys I appreciate all love and support. If you want access to any of those scripts or if you want help with your Cronus, make sure you join up on the Patreon. If you want to check out a VPN, 30-day money-back guarantee, try it out. Link will be in the description below. They have a special birthday offer right now. When you sign up for a two-year plan, you're going to get anywhere from one month to one year free. So definitely check it out if you're interested. Now's the time to do it. I appreciate all love and support. I'm going to leave you with some gameplay from the version 1.2 of my Killshot script that's through Patreon and we'll release it in Discord. As soon as we get some sniper mods and release version 3, we'll release this in Discord as well. So check it out if you're interested. Join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Sub if you haven't subbed already. We will see you on the next video. Peace and love, boys. We're out. Deuces. Yeah.